Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Just one piece of news this time out, and unfortunately it is about a delay to a comic. Specifically, um, the Bounty Hunter and the Tea Brewer has been delayed uh, to July 2nd, 2024. So previously it was scheduled for the 4th of June, 2024, and then before that I think it was what, May 14th? 2024 so it means that this is the second like official delay for this book it's now a month and a half past its original date just very frustrating to see these happen like especially when a book starts to get you know like okay this has two delays now um who's to say it won't get delayed like next month and so on as usual we never really get the explanations for specifically why this happens but based on how kind of early this is, considering when the book is actually going to come out now, I'm pretty sure this is some sort of a printing scheduling issue. Because um, usually, like, closer to release, we get sort of, like, shipping logistics delay stuff. And I think everything we know points to the fact that this creative team, Faith Aaron Hicks, Peter Wartman, is pretty consistent. Like, we had preview pages from this. Like, we... um. We know they tend to get their books done on time. It, like, it's been a long time since I think we've had a delay caused by a creative team not being, like, ready for the release. This is, as far as we're aware, still the kind of delays that happened during COVID continuing to affect the industry even now. It's the only thing that makes any sense for why these delays continue to keep happening to these books. But... The reason why I'm kind of more annoyed maybe about this one than others is just that this takes the book out of being in the first half of 2024. We go from being in the sixth month of the year to being in the seventh month of the year. Only by a little bit, but it's it's still just that thing for like checking up on how is 2024 going to be for Avatar. Well, there's no books in the first half of the year. Nothing's like nothing of note really the big stuff is happening in the early part of the year with this now delay the mako comic still doesn't have a release date i'm guessing because they're either it's just scheduled for later or they don't want it to get announced earlier and then get delays it just creates this situation where everything is second half of 2024 in terms of the notable stuff this is why it's actually so important for 2024 that netflix avatar is happening pretty early in the year because otherwise there's not much avatar stuff happening in or around that time which is kind of weird and so hopefully other news comes out around that time or something and this has been confirmed like other places have this as well you can see here penguin random house also have july 2nd so mass market for sure this seems to be confirmed uh, in terms of comic book store date, um, Dark Horse still have the older date, but they are historically pretty slow to change everything. So we'll see what happens here. I'd be surprised if the way that this ends up working out is that it hasn't been delayed for comic book stores, but it has been delayed mass market this early. Like I said, this those splits tend to happen much closer to the release date. And um, so... My assumption would be that the comic book store date will be July 3rd. Because obviously mass market is always a Tuesday release. Comics are always a Wednesday release. So typically the two releases are a day apart. Occasionally those dates do get split up further because of delays. But um, the expectation would be that they will come out like within the same <laughs> in the same week. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just a frustration because it, it pushes everything back you know we'll be waiting longer to get proper you know full preview pages i'm assuming this will delay potentially the opportunity to get like a review copy and um, that sort of stuff uh, and just in terms of like 2024 hopefully maybe being a better year for avatar it's not a great sign when the the main in a way publisher for avatar books just is struggling to keep books within release date windows and um, it's always frustrating when this happens there's, there's only so angry you can get about it because it's just uh, kind of 
fact of the industry at this point, but um, still, as fans, when we just want the books, um, yes, it is a frustration, plus the idea of, who's to say this is the last delay? We never know when it will be the last delay. What if it gets delayed next month, the month afterwards, and so on? And if this gets push, pushed to to too much more, who's to say like the Mako comic won't get announced for pretty late in the year, and then it might get delayed into next year? That would be a disaster, I think. Just in the year before Avatar Studios starts to properly get going, twenty twenty five, we kind of expect twenty twenty four to be a bit better, and they just can't get on top of the the comics for whatever reason. Um, the other angle on this would just be that this creative team, um, Faith Aaron Hicks and Peter Wartman, have been very consistent. And we have had situations where most trilogies, it's usually in the past anyway, first book comes out four months, the next one comes out four months, the next one comes out. More recently, it's been like four to six months. Um, but still, this puts this as coming out, what, nine months after Azula in the Spirit Temple. That's a huge delay between books that, you know, this is this is one shot five, the second of this, you know, the second of the second one shot trilogy. What's happening here? How is this kind of going this badly? Like, has the schedule been different for the, this time out because of the way they're doing one shots? Um, I don't even know, but it's just it's notable that the more time goes on, the more random the book releases tend to be. I think for Avatar, and that's never great to kind of have to deal with. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, that's pretty much everything I want to say here. So. In the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Bounty Hunter and the T-Brewer delayed by a full month on top of a already previous delay. What are your thoughts on this? Um, what do you think is happening here? Is it just the delays that the industry is dealing with? Or is there something else going on here? Because these do tend to happen much more consistently than we maybe want to and this is a year where i wouldn't even say that what's happened this year has been like that many delays for the books but it's beginning to kind of creep back in and i don't really fully understand why so let me know what your thoughts are on this but uh yeah that's been the video thanks for watching and bye